Namaste beautiful yogis. I designed Interval Yoga as a holistic system for mind, body and heart that combines ancient spiritual yoga teachings with high intensity interval training that will get you in the best shape of your life. I have thousands of testimonies from people that have done and followed my classes for years. Come on to my website and read through them. They're extremely inspiring. On my membership, I have 400 classes and right now I'm adding a three month beginner program that can get you into the more advanced classes. I'm also a brand new mom, so I'm offering a lot of tools for new moms, how they can lose weight, get back in shape, feel positive. My membership is the best offer out there on the internet because it offers you classes for every occasion. So come on over to my website, sign up for my membership, and I'll see you on the mat. Namaste. Namaste beautiful yogis. Today we are doing a quick but so effective 12 minute hit sequence. 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest and please warm up before we begin because we're gonna jump right in. I will call out the moves as we go so feel free to preview it and if you want to slow down or rush the sequence in the lower corner of the YouTube icon, there is now speed settings so you can make the classes a little slower if you need to. All right, so before we begin, we're gonna go through a few alignment points. This is, this workout, I call it a shape sculptor, not a shape shifter, a shape sculptor because it works on the upper body, the shoulders, the hips, inner thighs, and that hourglass area of where we can accumulate fat around the waist, around the back, <laughs> left hand does. So when you do a lunge, always have your knee over the ankle. This is incorrect. This alignment is incorrect. Mm -mm, no, this, yes, correct. Pressing into the back heel, knee over or behind the ankle and opposite side. Extending the tailbone down, so you're stretching this quadriceps. When you lower the knee down, it will go straight down. It won't do this. You're not doing this. You're doing this, this, this. And do it in front of the mirror. Put the camera on. Make sure you're doing it right. Squats are always body back. When you jump, body back, jump, body back. Push-ups. Try to get your body flat, just don't sag like this. If you have your booty a little higher, that makes it easy on the floor, sometimes it's acceptable. It's not gonna hurt you. It's a modification for the easier, for the easier variation. And for, very importantly, for bicycles. We're gonna do bicycles. So, make sure you have a glance at your belly button. When you lower down, when you're doing bicycles, nothing should be popping. There should not be, there should not be anything kind of forming a, a hill here. It, everything should stay flat. That means you're engaging the abs correctly, pressing the lower back into the floor and really driving driving through the core, shoulders back. <sighs> Same with the higher version, making sure that there is nothing coming out with diastasis. Whenever you're not engaging it in doing core exercises, you're gonna see a tissue coming in between the two abdominal walls. So you don't want that. You only want to do abs, looking at your abs and making sure that everything is engaged and coming in together. So enjoy this workout. I just finished it. It was a blast and it was a, it was a quick blast. It came and went. All right. Thanks for joining me today and have fun with it. We are going to begin. We'll start with something that's a little more wormy uppy and I'll show you the first exercise. So the first exercise would be a jump up and a push up. A jump, 
up and a push up. A jump up and a push up. That's pipe press. So you're pressing, it's a shoulder press. So that's the first one. Let's begin. I'm already feeling the rush and I'll call out the next moves as we go. Starting session. Alright, for the next one, it will be back lunge, jump, jump up. Back lunge, take a wide one, jump, jump up. Take a wide one so you're engaging the glutes in the front leg. I'm already feeling it. If you're using proper form, you should be feeling it already. I did this workout last night. And it was so good that I wanted to shoot it for you before I forget it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Opposite side. Really take a wide lunge. Knee over the ankle. Jump. Lift. Jump. Lift. Hop. Take the tail one under. So you're bending towards the toes that are lifting, which makes it extra challenging because naturally you want to move away from the toes lifting. So we're doing it towards the toes, which really fires up 
the quads. And we're working on the waistline. Nine seconds left. One mistake, lunge position. This one is really difficult, so we'll split it in the both exercises. Taking lunge, and we're going to lower down, lift up, and reach. Lower down, lift up, and reach. Reach, 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 reach. You should be burning if you're really lowering down the back. Knee, your quads and glutes should be burning. Change position halfway through. Really take a nice lunge. Use the full range of motion in your legs. Oh. Lay down and we're gonna do abs, hark up, bicycle. Lay down, bicycles, hike up, bicycles, lay down, hike up. Now, if you're a new mom, make sure you're looking at your belly button and nothing is popping. You're holding your abdominals together, not the justices. Straight back. Come up. Forty. 
Thanks for joining me today. Namaste.